today's video isn't so much about gardening, but I think it adds so much to your garden, and that's about hummingbird feeders. When I first started putting some hummingbird feeders in my garden, it took a while for them to find it, but when they did, it was just hummingbirds all the time. And I love their little chirping sounds and the humming sounds in the background when I'm out there with my hands in the dirt. So I wanted to show all of you how to make your own hummingbird food so you don't have to go to the store to keep buying the nectar because I actually think that the hummingbirds like this stuff better than the pre-made stuff that you get at the store. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is clean these hummingbird feeders that have been outside for about a week or two. So to clean the bird feeders, I just use hot water and soap and a good scrub brush. start making the nectar for the birds. So all I do is I boil some water in my kettle and then the ratio is one part sugar, just regular baking sugar, to four parts water. And you can either mix it with cold water and then put it in the microwave or you can mix it with boiling water which is a little bit more recommended because um, it will kill all the bacteria for the birds. So one scoop, one, excuse me, one quarter scoop of sugar, and then I'm gonna do um, one cup of water. Mix it up, let it cool off, and then put it in the bird feeder. You all might be wondering why I'm feeding my hummingbirds in the dead of winter. It's December right now. And the reason is, is that I live in California. I live in Northern California, zone 9B, and we actually have hummingbirds called Anna's hummingbirds that stay here over the winter. They, they actually winter over in this area. So um, in other parts of the country, um, some people call it a myth, some people believe that it's true. They think that it's not good to feed the hummingbirds during the winter season because it stops them from migrating down south. Um, but here in Northern California and Southern California, it's actually good to have some food for Anna's hummingbirds uh, because they stay here all season. So once the sugar's all dissolved in the water and the water's cooled down a little bit, then you can take the hummingbird feeder and pour the nectar into it. I usually do about one cup of water, a quarter cup of sugar for every week, maybe two weeks if it's not too hot, um, because after about a week or so, uh, mold and bacteria start building up and um, you want to clean that out for the hummingbirds. I just screw the top on. The hummingbirds love this one. They drain this one first. This one's in my front yard. Flip it over, let it drip a little bit, and there you go. While doing research on this video, I found this fantastic guide for hummingbirds in California. It was region specific, but it really talked about the specific hummingbirds that we'll see in our area, the different species, um, their habitat, their feeding requirements, and all the information that we need. So if you live in my area, I live in Northern California, Zone 9B, I'll link that guide down below. It's really, really interesting and really helpful. That's the guide that let me know that I should be feeding my hummingbirds year round uh, for those Anna's hummingbirds that don't migrate down south. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more videos on gardening and the like. Uh, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and I hope to see you in another video very soon.